Hey there, so what's up? I thought I'd do another uh, fragrance impressions video of a another new sort of fragrance I just got um, probably a couple weeks ago now. <clears throat> but I got it after I got the Obsession from Men. And I, th I think I might have actually got it at the same time. Um, just because it was another cheap fragrance and it was something that it was, I was looking at. And of course it's one that I can't find anywhere in any stores. I don't even know if it's sold in any stores, but so I ordered it online, but it's another 80 cent from like 1985, I believe. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna get it and do a, a fragrance impression on it. So these again are still kind of my fragrances that I have up here. I have maybe about seven or eight more of them downstairs, but this is the one I want to review. Or give my impression on it. This is what I got a little while ago. Perry Ellis for men. I think it came out in 1985, so it's another 80 cent, but it smells nothing like an 80 cent. I mean, I guess maybe in a way it does, but it's nothing compared to the normal ones that I've gotten, like powerhouse scents, or nothing at all like that. So it's totally different than what I would have expected this to be. Um, I was just looking up that it was an 80 cent, and I wanted to kind of try it out. Perry Ellis is a designer. So here's the bottle. This is a pretty large bottle. This is um, five fluid ounces, and it was like twenty-two bucks. So it's a it's a fair price. It's a pretty good price for such a large bottle, but it's a fair price for the scent. Um, when I first smelled this, I was actually quite a bit disappointed. It's nothing at all like what I'm normally interested in with fragrances. I like more musky fragrances, um, nice smelling fragrances with a little bit of enticingness to them generally musky fragrances or things like that but this one this one is quite different when I now when I first sprayed this one um, like I said I was kind of disappointed like kind of a lot and I didn't really I mean it's still kind of kept on like trying to wear it and stuff throughout the, throughout the different days that I was trying it out at first and then it kind of hit me like well anyway let me um let me spray this on because I'm not spraying on you. So it's um, it's kind of this pretty big bottle. It's got this brownish uh, kind of cognac colored juice in there, a black cap with and like a pearl sort of top, like a like a pearl. It's even kind of a little bit pearlescent in a way. So I'm not sure what they're actually going for with this bottle, but there it is, Perry Ellis for men. When I smell this out of the cap, it smells, I mean, it smells kind of interesting now for me, but at first it wasn't. So here's the spray. I'm kind of got hit a few times. And what do I get? Right off, I get a scent of oranges. I get a scent of orange, but really quickly it turns into this sort of um, watery, soapy scent. It's like a watery, soapy scent. You know what it smells exactly like is um, rose, like rose. There's like a ton of rose in this. I'm not a huge fan of the smell of roses because they're too watery and too, it's like a watery sort of sweetness. It's not even really floral. I mean, it kind of is, but it's like a really watery, it's a little bit sort of tea-like floral sweetness. This is not something that interests me that much, but I can kind of dig it actually in this scent too. And well, so I have a like a rose shower gel thing, and it smells like this. It smells like that rose smell, just a rose shower shower gel shampoo thing, just rose. I got it at TJ Maxx, and it says rose on it, so it's a scent of rose. If you ever tried um, another rose thing, is Thayer's rose oil or something like that? You can use it for an aftershave. It has a strong rose smell. And it smells kind of like this too. It's just you smell of rose. This is watery, very watery sort of sweetness, kind of floral smell. But it's nothing at all enticing. Um, if you know what roses smell like, they kind of smell like that. You'd think roses. You think rose. You think it would smell good or something. But roses kind of just smell dewy, like a dewy sweetness or a watery sweetness. Um, kind of 
very floral. But this has a ton of rose in it. So what this um so when I first sprayed this the first time, and I was gonna do a, a first impressions of this, and it but it I tried I did it and it did my first impression, and I couldn't say anything about it. It just remained sort of this scent like when you walk into a clothing store and just smell new clothes on a rack or something. Just that smell when you walk into a clothing store. That's kind of what this smells like, kind of a lot. At least when I first tried it. Now I kind of, I mean, it kind of still does, but now I kind of have a little bit of a likeness for it. It's definitely not a favorite scent of mine, but um, it's kind of, it's kind of good. It's kind of interesting for a certain use that um, I think it can be best used for. Um, and that is like in the workplace or something. This is like pretty outstanding workplace scent because it has no enticingness it has no musk it has no um, contradiction it has no um, provocativeness it's like this is such a wholesome sort of scent I could say it's like kind of um, like graham crackers and raisins or something like that that's kind of what this smells like it's totally a pure kind of scent. It just reminds me of something like like I'd smell going to my, my old grand, grandmother's house and she'd give us raisins and she'd eat like rice cakes or something like that. And it's just a you know totally clean wholesome type of smell. It's, um, it's like a type of smell that you that it, like a kid could to understand in a way because there's no there's no um, provocativeness there's nothing that's really special um, it's just a sort of wholesome scent that's all I can kind of say about it um, definitely a ton of rose oranges at first like I said but then it kind of it gets into um this resiny scent like a kind of like a bit of a dank um, not quite bitter but almost like a the closest I can compare it to is something like molasses but it's, you don't it's, it's not as really strong as that but it's kind of similar in a way like if you had ever really watered down molasses that's kind of like probably what this may smell like in a way but it's um it's kind of like a resiny damp resiny uh, kind of syrupy woody smell and it's kind of it's kind of good in a way I mean if you really like the smell of roses there's like ton of rose in this and that woody sort of smell and one thing about this fragrance is that it lasts forever even though it has that dewy rosy smell and that uh, you know sort of resiny smell it lasts forever it'll last all day and it'll even last into the next day depending on how much you spray on it but it, it like last incredibly long this one just sticks around it's very tenacious <clears throat> and um way later in the after the dry down like i'm talking like hours later like four or six hours later it'll finally get to a point where you'll start smelling sort of this little bit of spiciness and this little bit of amberiness and like i've noticed it before like it, it would last all day like i've worn this to work a couple of times and it would just last all day and then maybe if I went for a walk around lunchtime like I'd get this is like five hours later and then I'd warm up I could smell definitely smell a pretty quite a lot of sort of spiciness and sort of a little amberiness underneath and that part actually smells kind of good to me but you're gonna go through a lot of rows before you finally get there and it's hours later and so that's kind of the scent of this scent is a lot of rose and sort of that resiny scent. Um, so, anyways, um, it's totally different than what I what I was expecting. I was expecting something more enticing, more like a '80s style scent that I've kind of smelled before, something along those lines. But this smells maybe like more '90s or something in a way, just more cleaner, not powerhouse, not musky. Um, so the only place I didn't find this on Perry Ellis's website, the only place that I could give sort of notes that I've read about is on Fragrantica, of course. This is balsamic 
aromatic, woody, green, warm, spicy, and citrus. Um, the notes they list is oak moss. I'm not quite sure what that smells like. Leather, labdanum, which I know is a resin. Rose, carnations, vanilla, lemons, even civet. People, somehow that is in one of the ingredients. I smell absolutely no civet in this. Um, I don't really smell carnations. Um, I don't really smell vanilla. Amber, you could say there's amber. Sandalwood, probably. Patchouli, maybe in a very small dose. It lists uh, benzoin, uh, lavender, tonka, a whole bunch of different things. Musk, lemon verbena, um, cyclamen. I don't even know if those have a smell. Pimento, oponax, which is frankincense. I don't smell any of that. Um, pepper. I mean, there is sort of some kind of green freshness in here. But it's buried into this um, sort of ambery, dank, resiny scent. The notes that I would say is probably galbanum. I think that's a resin. Maybe that's what a lot of what I smell. Rose, definitely. Amber, a little bit less. And sort of a maybe sandalwood or some woodiness and some spiciness is underneath, like I said. And that's kind of it. Um, like I didn't really like this scent when I first got it or even the first bunch of times and I just kept trying it to see if I could find something to like about it and then one night I, w I went to bed and I sprayed some of this on just dabbed it on my cheeks and I started reading a book and I was like oh this is where it smells the best like this is totally a scent that you would wear to like the library to like read a book um, something like that but in that way it kind of works pretty good like at work like a work type of office type of scent because it's totally non obtrusive, it's totally not saying, not pushing you into any direction. It's just a sort of a wholesome kind of scent, I guess, kind of leathery. Like I said, the orange at first, but then this sort of uh, like, like a woody, sort of resinous aspect to some spices way underneath. And probably some amber too, and it lasts forever, and there's like a ton of rose. So that's kind of just all I can say about Perry Ellis. Um, for the sense that I like, this is definitely not something I would recommend at all. Um, but if you really like the scent of rose or something, which is the do most dominant thing in this, you might actually quite like this. So this is um, my review for Perry Ellis for men. And there you go. See ya.